Hi everyone, today I've got Superfruit and they're telling two truths and a lie. <laughs> oh, that's so f***ing hot. Superfruit, the best show on the internet. My name is Mufasa. My name is Simba. And I am dead. <laughs> you are. And I miss you. Oh. But your spirit guides me from the stars. <laughs> so this week on Superfruit, we thought we'd play a really fun game because yes. we haven't done that in a while. Right. It is called Two Truths and, and a lie. lie. You've probably seen it before on many YouTubers' channels. Probably not, actually. I you don't, don't think, think anyone so? has ever done this game. Okay. <laughs> we're the first ones. Yeah, we're original. Innovators. So. so basically how the game works, we have three facts that we read, and one of them actually isn't a fact, it's a lie. And the other person has to guess which, which one, one of those is the lie. Is the lie. Mm -hmm. And whoever wins gets to Instagram anything they want on the other person's account. I like that. I like that rule. I got that idea from Grace Helbig. You go first. Okay. So here are my three. So number one, I played soccer as a kid. Number two, mm -hmm. my favorite flavor of ice cream is chocolate. And number three, I've had a total of seven cats in my life. Oh. The soccer is the lie. That's hard. <gasps> Good. Maybe. I think that the lie is that you played soccer as a kid. That's not the lie. It, is it? No. You played soccer? Yeah. I can't picture you doing physical Can I activities. explain to you? No, I didn't. I was always the goalie because I was the worst player on the team. <laughs> oh. And I like would sit down in front of the net because the ball would never be over there. And I was like, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> that is so like you. That is so like me. Damn so. it. Well, which one was the lie? Um, my favorite flavor of ice cream is chocolate. I, I hate, You love chocolate? No, I hate chocolate ice cream. Oh. I love chocolate. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that's but. where I got confused. Yeah. That was the... That was the zinger. The zinger. One point for Mitch, zero for me. Embarrassing. Okay, number one. I briefly met David Archuleta when I was 12. Okay. Shania Twain, Come On Over, was the first album I ever owned. The first song I performed for a crowd was a song by George Strait. I think the Shania one is a lie. You're right. Okay, good. <laughs> I do love that album and I did own it, but it was not the first album I owned. Okay, so my turn. So number one, the first book I learned to read was The Polar Express. Number two, I've done voiceover work. And number three, I've been choked while hooking up with someone. Oh my god. I think that the lie... Wait. I feel like I would know if you were choked while hooking up with someone. <laughs> oh I think that's the lie. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, that's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah, I was that's like, a lie! Yeah. Uh, you would have told me about that. You're right, I would have, because that's freaky. I'm not into that. Don't right. ever joke me. Hey, we tell each other each other's hookup stories. <laughs> In sixth grade, I told my social studies teacher she smelled like a wet dog and I got sent to the principal's <laughs> office. Really in fourth grade, I invented a fictional character named Cuddles the Morphing Beaver and I sold comic books about him. Okay. And one time I locked myself in a room and played Animal Crossing for 16 straight hours. Um... The comic book. I think... The wet dog one is the lie. You're right. Okay. <laughs> it's a lie. I would never call someone a wet dog. I don't know. Actually, you were kind of a crazy I, mean I had kid. a sharp tongue when yes. I was in elementary school. Yes, he did. And I still do to this day. Okay, so it's three to one. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sad. I'm just wondering. Um, I've never seen one episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> Number two, I've had artwork in a museum. Number three, I've only broken one bone in my life. That's hard. Killing you've me. had to have seen The Simpsons. They are work. You watch cartoons every second, but you've never talked about The Simpsons, and I've never seen it on what I've been around you. <laughs> I can see you having art in a museum. Like when you were a kid. I don't know. See better. Process of elimination. I can, I don't know if you've broken a bone. I can see you having broken a bone, but I didn't know you had a broken bone. <laughs> I think that the lie, the lie is that you've broken a bone. You're right. Mm -hmm. That was a lie? Yeah, that's a lie. Oh, thank God. Yeah. I actually have never seen I've one since you were little. episode of The Simpsons. You haven't? Mm -mm. I could believe that because you don't like that show. Oh, it's not my thing anyway. Futurama is barely my thing. Um, right, so two to okay, three. Okay, two to three. This is the kicker right here. Cool girl. Cool girl. <laughs> one, I was kicked out of chess club for creating a new version of chess called Fusion Chess. Okay. One time my neighbor didn't want to play with me, so I broke into his house to find him. Okay. And then one time I stole a book from the book fair and felt so guilty I cried and brought it back. Oh my god, that's hard, kind of. 
Um, I'm pretty sure you told me about you breaking into someone's house to hang out with them. I think you told me about that. I can see you creating fusion chess too. <laughs> I really can. So I think the lie is number three. What was it? The book fair one. Yeah, I don't think you did that. No, that was a lie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fusion chess was so fun too. You yeah. could combine pieces, and then they could do more moves. Why would they kick you out? They that's so uh, that's weird. That's so innovative. They're discouraging creativity. I know, literally, and I got a bunch of people to start playing it, and then it became a thing, and then this, like, old, mean leader of the chess club, of course. she came over and she was like, I'm sick of it, you're out! And she kicked me out, because I didn't want to play normal chess. I was in chess club for a hot second when I left. <laughs> um, okay, so four to two, that means you win. What are you going to Instagram for my account? It's a secret. I'm scared. Nudes. Oh my god. And now it's time for our weekly obsessions. And, 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 and now it's time for our weekly obsessions. My weekly obsession is gondolas. That's a kind of a weird weekly obsession, but we were recently in Venice, Italy, and we took a gondola ride through the canals, and it was so adorable so beautiful. and beautiful. And I was just overwhelmed with, I can't believe I'm on a gondola in Venice right now. And so that is my weekly obsession. I want to own a gondola. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Start a gondola collection. Can we have a super fruit house in Venice? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just a little vacation. And ride a little strawberry shaped gondola. Aww. Around. And you're all invited. You're all invited. Just kidding. Just the cute boys. My weekly obsession, <laughs> since we've been in Europe for the past three and a half weeks, is um, is a candy bar. <laughs> and it's by Ritter Sport and it's called The Vice Plus Crisp. And it's basically white chocolate with cornflakes in it. Oh my god, but it's so good. And I can't think of anything better than that. It's my new favorite candy, 110%. He was force feeding it to me because I've been trying to be yeah. healthy, but I couldn't, I couldn't I was, stop it. But I was like, you have to enjoy this with me. Indulge just once in your life. It's so good. Um, <laughs> my song of the week is called The Bridge by Aurora off the album Bioluminescence. And while we've been in Europe, there's been so many beautiful sights, and it's such a beautiful song to listen to while you're experiencing something. And it's also just a beautiful song in general, and I think you should definitely check it out. It's a cappella, and um, it is seriously amazing. My song of the week is a song called Hey Life by Tune Yards. I love it because it's about, the song is basically about like, just being strong even though life gives you all this anxiety and you're not sure about a lot of things. It's really poppy and sort of rocky, and um, but the whole album in general is just really fun, so you should check that song out as well as the full album. That's all we have time for the Zoom Thanks for watching this week. It makes us so happy that you watch every week. Yeah, it does. And be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys so much. We love you guys so much. And, we'll and shout out to Maisie soon. Williams for wearing <gasps> our super fruit shirt Here's a picture. everywhere. Oh my god, come be on the show, we would live for it. We love you. Also, speaking of that, you should pick up some merch. It's selling out fast, we sold so much, we had to get more, and that's selling out, so get it right now, Yay. right here. Love you guys, goodbye. Goodbye. Tori Kelly is my wife. Well, you're a lucky man because she's got a fantastic voice. <laughs> well, I've never once gone and listened to any of Mitch's recommendations because I've <laughs> never heard of them. I probably should do that. I shouldn't be so close-minded, right? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the episode with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.